There once was a fisherman who lived with his wife in a miserable little hovel by the sea. One day, while the fisherman was out fishing, he felt something on the end of his line. When he hauled it up, there was a great flounder. The fish said to him, Listen, fisherman, I beg of you not to kill me, for I am no common flounder. I am an enchanted flounder. I shan't be any good to eat. Just throw me back in order and leave me to swim about. Ho ho! said the fisherman. You need not mess so many words about it. I gladly throw back a flounder who can talk. Bye, fish! Splash! And so saying, he put the flounder back into the shiny water. Then the fisherman went back to his wife in the hovel. Husband, have you caught nothing today? Well, no. All I caught was a flounder, but he says he was enchanted, so I let him go. Did you not wish for anything then? Well, no. What was there to wish for? Oh. <laughs> Isn't it bad enough to live in this miserable, wretched hovel? Well, you well. could at least have wished for a nice, clean cottage. Go back to the flounder and tell him I want a nice, clean cottage. Well, this cottage is good enough for us. Why should I go back there? Well, it was you who caught him, and you who let him go. Therefore, he'll grant you a wish. Well, I... Go! Although the man was very unwilling, he did not wish to vex his wife. He said to himself, It's not fair! But he went back to the sea anyway. Flounder, flounder in the sea, for to hearken unto me. My wife is a bell, but sound real well, and sends me to make a boon of thee. A boon? What do you want? Elias! I had to call you for my, my wife says I ought to have wish for something since I caught you. At last, she doesn't want to live in a miserable little hovel any longer. She wants a nice pretty cottage. Go home again. She has her wish fully. Thank you, big guy! Splash! When the man got home, he found his wife no longer in the old hut, but she was sitting on the bench near a door of a pretty new cottage. She took him by the hand and said, Nice. It is. They went inside and found a pretty sitting room. That's right, nice. A bedroom with a bed in it. A kitchen. Where'd you go? A living room furnished with the best of everything. Hey. Outside there was chickens and ducks and a little garden with vegetables and fruit. Vegetables? <laughs> Isn't it better? Yes, Mom, and then remain that we will live here in this nice pretty cottage and be happy forever. We'll see about that. With that, they ate something and went to bed. Everything went well for a week or so, and then the wife woke up and said, oh. Listen, husband, this cottage is too cramped, but and the garden is too small. The flounder could have given us a bigger house. I want to live in a big stone castle. Go back to the flounder and tell him I want a big stone castle. Oh, this cottage is good enough for us. What will we do with a, a big stone castle? Oh, you never mind that. Just go back. The flounder will handle it. Well, go! the man was very, the man's heart was heavy and he was very unwilling to go. He said to himself, it's not my day. When he went back to the sea, he found it no longer green, yet still calm, but it was a dark violet and gray. He stood by it and said, flounder, flounder in the sea, for the heart not to me. My wife is a bell to sound real well. Sends me to make a boon of thee. Another boon? Now what do you want? Elias! She wants a big stone castle. Go home again. She's standing at the door of it. Thank you, big fish! Splash! When the man got home, he expected not to find a house, but when he got there, there was a big stone castle. His wife was standing at the top of the steps, waiting to go in. Isn't this worth having? Yes, wife, and then remain that we will live in this big, beautiful palace and be content. We'll see about that. With that, they went to bed. The very next morning, the wife woke up and said, Husband, get up! Look at all this beautiful land! I'm here. Could we not be king over all this? Go to the flounder and we will be king. Well, what will we do as king? I don't want to be king. Oh, if you will be king, I will be king. Go to the flounder and I will be king. But Go! The man was quite sad because his wife would be king. He said to himself, <laughs> When he got back to the sea, he found it dark, gray, rough, and evil smelling. He stood by it and called out, Flounder, flounder in the sea, for dark not to me. My wife is a bell, the star will well. It's in to make a boon of thee. What you want now? I'm about booed out. Elias, she wants to be king. Go home again. She's king already. Thank you, big guy. Splash. When the man
man got home, he found the castle had grown much larger. He went inside and found his wife sitting upon a huge throne. He stood still and said, At last, wife, be content for being king, for higher up you cannot go. Husband, can I not cause the sun and moon to rise? <laughs> Surely the founder can't do that. If I cannot be lord of the universe, I'll never have another happy moment. Oh, I won't be able to bear it. Then she flew into a rage. Her hair stood on end. She kicked him and screamed. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to be lord of the universe. I know he's going to stop me. No. He was frightened but went. He shivered and shook. His knees trembled and knocked. When he got to the sea, there ran mountains high and black waves, crested in white foam. He shrieked out, but could hardly make himself be heard. Father, fire, we're in the sea! For our friend to me, my watch is a bell, we sound real well! And send me to make a food of thee! Yes, another food? <laughs> At last! She wants to be Lord of the Universe! What? She what? She what? <clears throat> she wants to be Lord of the Universe! She wants to be Lord of the Universe? At last! First she wanted a nice, pretty cottage, and that didn't make her happy. Then she wanted a big stone castle, and that didn't make her happy either. Then king, now lord of the universe. <laughs> I wish none of this would ever happen, you know. Yes, go back home. It never did. No way, fish! Splash! And the flounder disappeared into the sea. The fisherman went home, and where the beautiful castle once stood was now the miserable, wretched hovel. He called out to his wife with glee. Oh, and there stood his wife in an old patch dress. Husband, have you caught nothing today? There they lived, happily ever after.